Hey guys, Anxiety and Art here. So, from the title and the thumbnail, this is a redraw of a very, not very old, but old, old picture that I did way back when at the beginning of last year. I think in March? About, I drew, I used a base. I, I was a baser. That's how most people start off. They use bases. I was a baser. I used this base. And the left, the girl, cling to the guy. I, I said that it resembled Yandere Chan when I made it. But, um... It kind of does. I mean, meh. And then the guy has Naomi's old haircut. Because that was as simple as I could draw it. When I had DA. When I used DA, I mean. Uh, DA means Deviant Art. Art platform. Etc. Um, so, this, w this was drawn on the Devi on Deviant Art's. Uh, drawing program that they allow for free called Miro and the the line art atrocious the, the blurring was decent enough the, the the thing that I most I see as soon as I look at this picture is the line art because in the hair mostly because I'll have a picture of it on the right side of the screen the lines of the hair are jagged because I was using a trackpad when I made it. So, what I decided to keep. I kept some of the colors. I kept base colors, but I changed them to be not as mm, bland and bright because a white t-shirt, gray, and then dark gray, and black and grays for her, conveying motionless I am assuming and then for him just blues and blacks and grays no 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 and then I'm assuming right now it it lagged last time I tried to record this so I'm assuming right now I was trying to do the sit the the pose that she is doing uh which is sticking her leggy um, her leg up with very big emphasis. But later on I changed that. Um. So. Uh. His. Their expressions are very. Very. Um. Very. Bland. And. It doesn't. Make sense. If your. World's. Wor and if you're drawing this picture for like a world sense. Because she's looking straight onto the camera, breaking the fourth wall. But he is looking off somewhere else. Assuming somebody or something. But later on, when I draw the face, which should be coming soon. Maybe it's not, I don't know. When I draw the face, I, I, I make it seem more in the world. Actually, am I drawing the face right now? Uh, can't really tell. I have to look at the timeline to tell which parts, because the speed paint isn't as accurate, I think. Um, so I make her looking at him, and then him with a bit smaller pupils, I think, looking back at, back at her, back at him. Oh, I already drew it. Oh, I'm lining now, apparently. I hope this is accurate, because on the speed paint at the top, it's showing them changing legs. Uh, so, sit things that I can tell I, I changed. Uh, oh yeah, I can say that I, I moved her leg down. I made it more anatomy-like. I made it more comfortable for her to stand and not put so much pressure on him but I guess that uh, I changed line art I used to do line art pretty thin 
like at a two. But now I do it at like a six or an eight or somewhere around that. And I erase bar parts of the lines to make it seem like pen, pen pressure is active, but I don't have pen pressure. Uh, I use a stabilizer, a 10. Ha. Uh, I use, in Ibis Paint, you can choose, uh, um, after or real time. I do 10 at real time. Uh, hmm. What else? Oh yeah, the eyes, the eyes are very anime-esque, I, I should say, in the original picture. Because they have open eyes, meaning there's no... You can't paint bucket the whites of the eyes unless you do the skin and that's the thing but not but I, I draw my eyes fully closed now it's, it's easier and it's better uh and in certain situations it's easier um but um i also made his his hair his hair fluffier more like Naomi's, but I tried to s not do it exactly like hers, but it's hard not to do something similar or similar to uh, her hair because it's technically just her, but it's not. That makes sense. Um, hmm. Well, I'm lining right now. About to do the hands. Uh, well, later on you'll see that I, I, some of the colors I desaturated, some of the colors I upsaturated, some of the colors I shift saturations up fully together, all together. Some I lowered the color on. Uh, I don't know what else. Well, for her hair, I drew a little bit of a bigger difference in the part because if, if you look there's like a big piece on the right side and then the smaller piece on the left side of the girl's face and then i made the left one bigger um and the the right one a little bit bigger but about the same size so uh yeah for it look better I also draw ears uh, better because I used to not draw ears because I didn't know how to without making them look extra stupid. Um, also eyebrows. I used to draw eyebrows paper thin or line thin, and now in the in this you can see probably maybe that the eyebrows are like. You can paint bucket tool them. So what I ref say when they're not open in lines. Uh, I made I made her a little bit. I made her a little thick. She got him thighs. He 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 is a dynamic pose. He's standing. Yeah, he's he's standing. His. When I drew her dress, I made it a little flowier than it was in the original picture. Because in the original picture, it's very stiff because she's just standing there. Um, shoes, I don't draw shoes as often as I draw like arms and faces and eyes and hair. So sometimes shoes can be harder but recently, I've been trying to draw more full bodies, so I've been drawing shoes more often. Uh, I'll maybe come up with some art to post on Instagram about full body dresses, because I've been drawing a lot of dresses on my characters. I won't say girls, because they're not all girls. Um, so, yeah, just, just been practicing anatomy and junk. I also, also, when I was, when I'm coloring, I think I'm coloring it now, I think I decided to add a little touch and have a little fade to her hair, um, reminiscing to 
the poor, poor tips of her hair. I don't even know why I, I did that. Oh, in the timeline, I'm lining right now. So it makes sense, but I'm, I'm not lining, if I'm correctly saying this. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. Uh, there's a, there's a cut in the recording in a few, but that's when I start to do my shading, and I'll talk about the shading, but I, but I, I, I like the faces. I like how this picture turned out. I haven't posted it on Instagram yet, but I, I will after maybe tomorrow. I'm recording this on the 30th. So, now I'm shading, and you can see that I'm shading with a bright red. Um, later on, I don't keep that bright red, I don't think. I think I desaturate it a little bit, but I do like how it makes all the colors better. Sorry. Uh, because when I used to shade, um, on Miro, at least, I, I dropped a tool, a color, not tool. I turned down the darkness. I forgot what it's called, darkness. Uh, I made it a bit darker. And then I went into the spots where I thought that they needed to be, which is a method that you can use, but it's just a bit more tedious because you need to eyedropper the tool, the, eyedropper the color, and then slide it down when you can just pick one solid color and then draw it everywhere uh but also it's it's hard for me to find a light source when i draw because um i do think a little bit about it but not fully um so we're coming close here i also colored with the line art afterwards i didn't film it but I'll show that on Instagram. If you follow me there at Anxiety Nerd with some extra um uh periods um under what are they called? Um Uh there's a line on the bottom of the thing. I forgot. I'm I'm mm, uh but follow me on Instagram, I'll leave the, I'll post the final picture, uh, with the black it, blackened lines, and with the colored line art, and I will see you guys in the next video, goodbye.